Once again, Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers have been booted out in the first round of the playoffs. This marks their fifth first round exit in eight seasons. Clearly, there's something wrong with the team. They've been stuck in a mid-tier status for so long that it's getting depressing. The thing about the Trailblazers is that they can't just press the reset button and break the team up. They have the dynamic duo of Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum who are well within their primes. The sensible thing to do to enter the offseason with the main goal of building around them. To do this, they need to identify certain inherent weaknesses in their play style. They have a lot of statistics and games to look at. To help them, we've culled what we think are the three massive weaknesses of the Trailblazers they need to address for next season. Too reliant on Damian Lillard Lillard's heroics sure does provide tons of entertainment for the legion of basketball fans. However, from a perspective that basketball is a strategic and tactical endeavor centered on team play, the Trailblazers' over-reliance on Lillard seems to be their main weakness. A quick look at the statistics proves this. As for one, the Trailblazers' turn to isolation plays 10.2% of the time in the regular season. This ranked first in the NBA. Giving the ball to Lillard and letting him work makes absolute sense. But clearly, this type of offense isn't built for the long run. Sooner or later, defenses will figure you out. As in the case of the Brooklyn Nets who rely on lots of iso ball, it usually leads to openings and a good number of assists. However, this isn't the case for the Trailblazers who were the worst in the league in assists in the regular season with just 21.3 per game. It's certainly a shocking stat especially since the Blazers have some pretty good scorers in their squad. The Trailblazers seem to have forgotten that basketball is a team sport. Everyone should chip in. Never a consistent defensive team the Trailblazers were the second worst defensive team in the 2020-21 NBA regular season with a 115.3 rating. Last season, they ranked 27th, 16th in 2018-19, 6th in 2017-18, 22nd in 2015-16. This shows that Terry Stotts can come up with a stellar defensive playbook as seen in their performance in the 2017-18 season. However, it seems that defense has never been his strong suit. If you're a lifelong NBA fan, you know how the adage goes, defense wins championships. During their title runs, the Golden State Warriors were among the best defensive teams in the league. Not everyone noticed it because of Stephen Curry's dazzling display. The same goes for LeBron James's title runs with the Miami Heat. In fact, just look up any championship team and their defensive rating. In addition, this also proves how vastly different the regular season is from the playoffs. The Trailblazers under Stotts have made the playoffs eight straight times. 